Hello my lovely Taurus, I hope whenever you're watching this you're having a great day today. My name is Rachel and welcome to your weekly tarot card reading. This is for all Taurus, Sun, Moon and Rising, so please take the energy that resonates. If it doesn't resonate then please leave it where it is. Okay, it's a general love reading for you all today. We're going to find out what your person is hiding from you. You could be in separation, you could be a complete breakup, or you might just know that there's something that you're not being told and you want to try and discover what the truth is. Um, so let's see if I can help give you any clarity with the angels today. So angel spirit guys, what is Taurus's person hiding from them, please? What are they not telling them? Show me the card I need to see, please, for them. Okay. Okay, it says, I don't react when people mention you. Okay, so that's the message that your person is saying. And they're also saying you don't know how hard it was to let you go. So the reason that they are not reacting when people mention you is because... It may be because the energy I'm feeling from this is because it's too hard to think about you. With the bottom of the deck saying you don't know how hard it was to let you go, it was so painful for them with this separation or this breakup that they try not to think about you. And when people mention you, they just brush it off because they don't want to deal with the pain of losing you. Okay, so let's see what Tarot has to say got the four of wands here i feel that you two are in harmony you two are uh, in union or i feel that there could be um a union coming back here let's see what else we've got what else do our tourists need to know about their person please what do they need to know about their person okay oh wow okay the king of cups and the Six of Swords, and on the bottom of the deck, we've got the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so they've got, they've got the Four of Wands here. I feel this relationship was very harmonious. There was, um, it, the Eleven Eleven card is that you two were in perfect alignment, and it just ended. For some reason, it just ended. I don't know whether that was you did something to them or they did something and now they're regretting it. I'm not sure. Only what will resonate with you, you'll understand. But you two were in alignment together. You two thought you were soulmates. You thought that you two were going to last a distance. But then something has happened and it brought you two apart. And now they can't even... The only, I feel sometimes the only way they can get through things at the moment is by playing dumb. Like, it just, it never happened. And it's not like they want to say, you never happened in a bad way. It's just it's so painful for them that the easiest way for them to move on is to think that it didn't happen in the first place. Because I feel that your person thought that you were their one. You were their soulmate. And for some reason, it's just gone. And I feel the energy I'm getting from this is they are in a lot of pain. And they're healing. Because you've got the King of Cups. And the King of Cups is about um, trying to get your emotions in balance. And I feel this is what this person is trying to do. They're trying to get their emotions in balance here. They're trying to understand that they can still love you. They can still uh, care about you. But maybe this wasn't a relationship that was healthy. They're using their head over their heart here. They're trying to convince themselves that this is the right thing to do when I don't feel that it is the right thing. But they're trying to... I feel either you or your person, there is something else going on in their life that means that right now you two can't be together. So even though you're desiring, even though your hearts want to be together, right now it's not right. It's not the right time at the at this precise moment because there's other things that are going on that is gonna that is stopping this relationship so they're trying to um get their emotions in balance because they need to focus on something else and the only way to be able to do it is to not think about you i feel that for one of you you need to be very compassionate towards the other 
or you both are going, or it could be that you're both going through something separately. And even though you want to be together, your energy and your attention is being, sorry, it's not the table, the camera moved. Your attention is being dragged in different directions. So therefore right now you can't be together, but that is really hurting you as well. You've also got the six of swords here, and it's that's about transitioning, about moving away from something and moving towards something new. And I feel this is what you need to do. You need to leave this behind and you need to move forward. However painful that might be. I feel, I feel the energy I'm getting, the message that I'm receiving here is that you two thought you, you were in alignment. You two thought that you were soulmates, that you were supposed to be together, that you were supposed to, that you thought that this was it, but there was something in the between that was stopping you from being together. And because of that reason, I feel that you two just didn't work. Like you, maybe you fought a lot, you bickered a lot. Um, it just wasn't working. And even though your hearts want each other, your, your heads know that this isn't a healthy relationship for you to be in. And therefore, however painful it might be, you need to move away from it to be able to transition to something new. And on the bottom of the deck, though, we have got the seven of pentacles. Maybe that you just haven't learned all the lessons you need to learn yet. I feel that there is still more growing to do individually. I feel that you two probably do feel that you are meant to be soulmates. But there's healing work that you two need to do separately before you can be together. You two cannot heal with each other. You need to heal separately. And you both know this. And how much you want to be together, you know that for your own self-respect and self-worth, you need to move away from it so that you can grow as a person and be the people that you need to be. And if you are supposed to be together, fate will pay its part. And fate will bring you back. That's why they don't react when people mention you. Because they know that you are meant to be the one for them. But right now, their emotions are all over the place. And I feel yours might be too. And you need to get them in balance. You need to transition away from this right now. So that you can move forward. That's too many cards, thank you. You need to transition away from it. So that you can both heal individually and be the people that you are meant to be too many cards thank you i know that might not be a message that some of you want to hear right now and i'm sorry if that that is painful but as soon as you are healed and you know your worth your values your beliefs you know what you want and the same with them i feel that's when you could come back together yet yeah, the world This is my new tarot card deck. It's the Friends one. Look. I saw it and had to buy it because it's like, my God, I need that. So uh, I put a link in the description box below if you have, uh, if you want to get your own, but it's, they are awesome. Okay, so you do have the world card under the four of wands and I feel that you two could have given each other the world. And I feel that you will. I just feel that the timing's wrong. The timing's just a bit off. What else do we need to know, please? Page of Cups and the Emperor. And the Knight of Pentacles, yeah. So you've got the world card here. The world card is, um, you two can give each other the world. You two are, I feel that you two are meant to be, just not right now. The thing is, if you are meant to be, then the universe and fate will play its part and bring you back together. You thought that this person was going to give you everything. Was This person completed you. And you completed them. But there are other things in this, in this situation that is stopping that from growing. You also got underneath the King of Cups, you've got the Page of Cups. So the Page of Cups is um, using your intuition. So this person could have been a little bit younger than you. This person, you could have been a bit younger than them. Maybe it's a, maybe there's a big age gap thing that you're just not quite sure on. Maybe you, maybe you're the older person and you just feel there needs to do a little bit more growing. There's definitely some kind of connection there. There's definitely a soulmate connection there. 
but you need that person to grow a bit more or vice versa. Um, I feel for, you might feel that you want this person to go and live their life a little bit more or you want to go and live your life a little bit more. I feel that you really want to be together, but you're in two different places. And I feel you need to use your intuition. I really do feel that you want to be together, but your lives are in two very opposite places right now. And therefore, I feel that you need to move away from, you, both of you need to move away from it and then come back together if it's meant to be. Because you've got the Emperor card here. And the Emperor card is a father figure. Um, a little bit older, maybe. So, yes, with the Page of Cups and the Emperor, there's an age gap. There could be an age gap here, big age gap. Um, that it's just like, it's just too much for you. Maybe it's just something that you can't, you can't handle that's just a you know maybe you can handle it but it's just uh this there's that there's something there it's not so much the age gap because age is just a number i feel the energy i'm getting from this is like you want them to go and live their life um you want them to go and enjoy life or vice versa you want to be the one that goes off and does stuff you want to be the one that goes off and travels or do do whatever you want to go and do um the emperor, the emperor is a very authoritative, very firm but fair, very strong character, very protective character. Um, I feel that there might be kids on one side of you. So like one of you might be younger and want to go off and do things and the things like travel and do all this. But the other person might have kids and responsibilities and can't do that. So even though there's a massive connection there, there's probably a soulmate connection there. There are things in the middle that just is not making it work right now. You do have the Knight of Pentacles. And the Knight of Pentacles, I feel that this is going to be moving in a direction you want it to go in. But it's going to have to go slow because there's things in the middle that need to be done. Um, I feel that the person that is older, whichever way around that is, is very um, productive and likes routine where the younger person just likes to live a bit more free-spirited and do things the way they just see how, see where the world goes. Um, again, the older person, I feel, is in this relationship is very goal-orientated, very determined, very strong character, where the other person is, is not quite there yet. They're not quite there. And I feel that by going off and doing your own things... I feel that the universe and fate will bring you back together at some point. But I feel that there's a lot of love here. There's a lot of care. There's a lot of soulmate connection. But there's other things in the middle that are stopping this from moving forward. One of them may be kids. It just may be an age gap. Whatever resonates with you. But there is something in the middle that is stopping this from moving forward. Okay, got the two of pentacles. Okay, what's stopping it? The eight of wands. And the magician. And on the bottom of the deck, we do have the ten of pentacles here as well. So the two of pentacles is all about making some decisions and making and finding balance. So that there, there could be there could be a possibility of you being together but you need to find the balance you need to, you need to compromise and it's not just a little bit it's a lot of compromising and i feel that is where you keep hitting that wall you keep hitting that barrier because you need to find balance it's like you need to kind of give and take like both of you kind of need to let something go that you really want to be able to be together and I feel that you, I feel that you don't know which way to go. This is about making decisions and finding balance in your life. And maybe that's what it is. By going off and doing your own things and going and doing the things that you want to go and do and achieve. And then coming back is finding that balance together. But you've also got the Eight of Wands, and the Eight of Wands is a fast-moving card. I feel that you are going to be in separation. You're going to be in separation. I want to say a good few months. Maybe a year. 
And in that time, things are going to move really quickly. Like you're both going to be able to achieve the things that you want to achieve and do the things that you want to do before you come back together again. It's going to move quickly. Like you're going to separate. You're going to go and live your life. Things are going to go quick. You do it all in like record time, but you enjoy the process of it at the same time and then you come back together. So something is going to move and it's going to move really, really quickly for you. Because you'll both manifest each other back into your life. You will both manifest each other back into your life. You're going to find balance in your life. You're going to go and do the things that you want to go and do. It's going to happen really quickly. Like Everything that you want is going to come to you really, really fast. And it's something that you've been manifesting into your life. But then you're going to manifest each other back into your life as well. Then on the bottom of the deck, we do have the Ten of Pentacles as well. So this is long-term success. So I feel that you need to have this separation to be able to have long-term success with this person. One of you wants to be more financially stable. One of you want to have more financial goals. One of you, that's something you're working towards. One of you could have your own business and wants to work that more and more to be more financially stable. And one of you feel like, I feel like one of you wants to go and travel the world and see what's out there. But you're going to do it all and you are going to come back together again. And then when you do, it's going to be long term. It's not a short term fix. Right now, if you stay together now, it would be a very short term fix. If you separated and go and live your life and do the things that you want to go and do, I feel that then you would have very long term, a long term relationship, a very long term relationship. Please remember that this resonates, does not resonate with every single person. It's a general reading. So this might not be for you today, this reading. So, you know, if you're listening to this, like none of this makes sense to me. It's just because it's not for you today. There are lots and lots of Tauruses out there. So just take what resonates with you and come back next week and see if that one resonates with you. Okay, we're going to uh, ask the angels a question. Any question you want about the cards on the deck or otherwise. And we'll ask for a answer from them with the card. While you're thinking and while I'm shuffling, don't forget to hit that like, share, subscribe and that notification bell. And it will notify you every single time I upload a video. Um, I'm going to be changing it up a little bit over the next few weeks. I'm going to be adding more in the weekdays and then doing a big general reading at the end of the week as well. So keep your eye out. Do subscribe so you're notified every single time that um, I upload the videos. Okay, right then, what do we need to know then? What's the answer to the question, please? Okay, so helpful people. Maybe you need to go and speak to a few friends, family, and get some help from them on this situation. You've also got improving health. Maybe that's something you need to work on right now, is improving your health. Maybe that is something that is stuck in the middle between you both. Maybe you need to do some, like, again, healing work, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, physically. There's, you know, maybe you just need to improve your health to get to a point where you feel ready for a, this kind of relationship. At the bottom of the deck, we do have look for a sign. So the angels are sending you signs, so keep and just look out for them. Don't go searching, just be aware when you come across one. Again, as I say quite often, be very specific. So if you're just like, is this person the right one for me? Please show me a white feather in front of me if this person is supposed to be of me. Very, very specific. And even if you can, by the end of the day, by the end of the week, I want to see a white feather fall in front of me. Um, if this is the person I'm supposed to be with. Be very specific. If you don't see one, that's a sign. If you see one, that's a sign. So take whatever resonates. That's all I've got for you today, my lovelies. Thank you for spending this time. I really do appreciate it. Anything resonated with you, then please do drop it in the comment box below. I reply to all my comments as I love to connect with you all. Don't forget to like and subscribe and get this out to as many people as possible to hopefully give them a little bit of clarity in their time of need, uh, which is what my all-time aim is to do. Thank you again for spending this time with me. I hope whenever you're watching this, you're having a great day today and enjoy it the rest of your week and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye, guys.